Hey, 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 welcome back everybody. Hey, uh, we're gonna start a uh, new step in the process of working on Katsumi. And sorry for the background noise here. It's uh, snowing outside today, therefore I'm not out freezing in the shop. <laughs> I'm gonna show a few clips of riding around on this bike and uh, before we get into the nitty-gritty on how to do this, I wanted to explain a few things that are um, weaknesses of the KLX 250 and 300 series family of uh, trail bikes. They're really designed to be an off-road trail bike. They're not a motocross or high-speed desert racing type bike. Um, and as a result, they were designed uh, somewhat out of balance from a suspension standpoint uh, from my perspective the front springs are very very soft they're actually uh, 0.37 kilogram millimeter springs from the factory in the front and uh, they are very soft and in the back it's a 5.2 kilogram millimeter spring which is almost more on the normal side or the firm side not not really firm but like a motocross bike will have a 5.4 or 5.6 kilogram millimeter spring and it depends on the the leverage of the linkage system in the back and so forth but as a result this bike is very out of balance the front forks are soft uh, the rear is relatively firm and so the front end just dives under almost all circumstances so um, that is a big problem and part of what we need to change so before we get into the nitty-gritty of what we're going to do with this bike this first initial introduction is basically going to be to show you some of the free resources you have available to help you do research on the type of motorcycle that you have um, and uh, before I get too far into this I I want to let you guys all know that uh, the company that provided these parts for me is uh, through Duff's Racing. I want to give uh, props to them and uh, thanks to them for helping me acquire these parts that I need for this bike. Um, the, uh, one of the resources that's available for you out there is a website um, that represents a company by the name of Racetech. Uh, Racetech actually specializes in suspension products for um, dirt bikes, street bikes, Harley Davidson's, ATVs, and now UTVs. So I want to show you this website because one of the things that you can do on your own bike to look and see how it's set up for the type of uh, riding and terrain you have is to take advantage of this free resource. And what you do is you just simply go to racetech.com and then you'll click on one of these boxes at the top here. You can see my mouse scrolling over here. I'm going to click on the dirt bike and that will take you to um, to some options here down the left hand side and uh, what I'd like to do is just show you one of the many um, and that is a spring rate search that's the second box down here on the left and you can actually take a look and see how the springs are in your bike and so if you click on that button it'll take you to a new page and it'll ask you to go through and select which motorcycle you have so the first one is the vehicle and it's Kawasaki. Then I'll go to the next box over here on the right hand side and I'll click KLX 250R which is the bike that I am referring to and then on the right it has the years 94, 95, and 96 and mine's a 94 and if you click on that button it's going to bring you up to a new page here that shows you like I don't know if you can see it very well uh, with this recording, but it'll show stock fork spring rate and it'll show you right over here 0.37 kilogram millimeter spring and Then underneath that it'll it gives you an option for fork spring series and You can calculate the spring rate and display available springs This is for the forks of course and you have it for the shock too, but we'll click on that and that'll take you to a new uh, Box here where you can actually select the type of writing you're going to do um, let's say for example first is the riding type I'm going to select desert because I do more desert riding and then the next number two is your age I'm older than 45 years old so I'm going to click that box skill level and this is where you got to be kind of honest with yourself um, because it has a lot to do with where the plushness ends up being in your suspension um, I usually like 
to put click on the dirt intermediate or expert a class that's uh, not professional but usually if you're a hard fast rider um, you want to make sure and click on that one if you if you like to uh, tend to go slower you're a beginning rider click on the lower one and it'll ask you for your height uh, next I'm standard height or short <laughs> and then the next one is a gas tank and this is for Katsumi so I've got an oversized tank so I'm gonna click on that and it will ask you your weight without your gear here we go 190 and then it'll say calculate spring rate and it'll load up and it'll tell you uh, what uh, your fork and your shock spring rates and it'll tell you right here on the left the stock spring rate is 0.37 kilogram millimeters and for these modifiers that I just put in there for the type of writing that I do it'll suggest that you use a 0.476 kilogram millimeter spring or the closest available now the closest available for this bike is a 0.46 so it would be better if I could have a little bit of a stiffer spring but the the firmest spring I can find for this bike is a 0.46 so that's what I purchased now on the rear shock down here the um, stock one is a 5.2 and it suggests a 5.494 or the closest available since my front springs are going to be slightly softer than what was recommended, I went with the slightly softer size on the rear with ending up with a 5.4 kilogram millimeter spring. But um, So you guys can take your bike, think about the riding that you do, think about the gear you have on it, uh, think about your tank size and all that, and you can go to racetech.com, put in those parameters and see what your stock springs are and uh, what's recommended. Um, now, uh, of course, um, we're going to be modifying the suspension a fair bit and springs are just one part of it. Sometimes if you just replace the springs, that makes a significant difference uh, right out of the gate. But the other thing you can do is you can go back to the, um, the page that, um, that you started with and it'll show you all the different things available for your bike. For example, um, you can get uh, type one gold valve kits. Uh, we showed you that's what we're gonna put in this bike for the forks, and you can even get one for the rear shock as well. Uh, it's got all these different parts. You can get your seals, you can get your, uh, your um, all your parts that you need uh, through them. Um, and then your rear shock spring rate, um, and you can get, where am I trying to go here? I'm um, scrolling down through here too fast, I think. But Oh, there it is, shock gold valve kit, and you can get that um, item as well. Now, I went through Duff's Racing to get all my parts. Uh, they're a dealer for, um, for race tech, and so I, I like to support uh, Duff's Racing down here in Utah, so I went through them uh, to get these items. but. So as we start to break down this bike and redo the suspension, keep in mind that uh, before we did it, I looked at the spring rates and look at what was available to uh, rebuild the front and rear shock and revalve them. And uh, we're gonna uh, basically try to make this bike more balanced and more appropriate for desert type riding and trail riding, which is um, what I would like to do with it. So. Uh, just keep in mind uh, as we go through this series and you're thinking about your own bike, do a little free research on there and um, so that someday in the future if you decide to, to uh, do it, you can do it on your own. Now, uh, stay tuned. Uh, we're gonna, some of these videos are very long and I apologize for that. The whole project is finished. Um, it worked out great. Um, but some of these videos, um, I'm, I'm basically going from A to Z on each of them so I apologize for it being longer than what would be ideal but if you're one of those guys that's going to do this yourself um, I think you'll appreciate being able to see every step along the way so um, if, if uh, you're not interested in it then uh, wait for something a little more entertaining to come along but so look forward to having you guys come and uh, be a part of this project uh, stay tuned the next video coming up we'll get down to the nitty-gritty okay uh, happy holidays, everybody. Peace out.